Hello, Mr. Miguel. This is going to be your monthly review for your business. So let's jump right in. So Google ads are still running as expected. We have the main grayscale search campaign, which is targeting mainly barbershop type keywords. So these are the keywords that we put and here are the top keywords. So barbershops near me, your brand name, which I think is fine to have on there because it's costing you 20 cents per click. Doesn't hurt. And it's all type barber near me, barbershop haircut. Every now and then you're gonna get something weird, but I think at this point we've done a pretty good job of adding negative keywords. And so you're pretty dialed in. Like this stuff, yeah, we could probably get rid of these. But you know, there's always gonna be a different variation of these. So, you know, we clean them up over time, and now that it's been some time, for the most part, you're gonna get the right type of click. So out of the 1,321 clicks to on your ads, uh, I would say it's gonna be a good portion, I don't know, 1,200. So there's gonna be a couple that aren't the best, but for the most part, they're gonna be good. And so uh, just to go over the campaigns real quick, the setup is we have the main Grayscale search campaign, which is what you saw. We have a Spanish version, which is very uh, low, five bucks a day. But because the average cost per click is so low, you still get a decent amount of interaction, 181. And then um, we have the main one, $60 a day, which is uh, you know getting most of the clicks, a lot of impressions, a high click-through rate of 9.17%, still very good average cost per click. And I say good because you know this, in theory, is always gonna go up the more that people use Google Ads. But for in your case, in your area, it's still pretty low. I mean, we don't really see this anymore. Uh, total spend on this one is 18.35. And then again, with these metrics, this just tells us that there's like an endless amount of people trying to find haircut type keywords, right? Barbershop, I mean, so many people look it up that even with a $60 a day budget, we're really not even coming up for, you know, not even 10% of, of those searches, which, you know, I think it's fine because there's so much there, right? Uh, and then we're doing a, a basic display campaign just to show your ad uh, on different parts of the internet, such as other websites, um, apps, Gmail, YouTube, and things of that nature. You know, it might be a good idea to switch this one up here uh, shortly, just because uh, this one's been running for a while and Google has constantly come up, coming up with new stuff. So there's one now called uh, Demand Gen. So it's like similar to Performance Max. It's a good idea to, uh, see what happens, right? Like that's gonna be like more of an experimental one. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of give you the breakdown here or a, fret, a reminder of what we have running here. So the total budget is 70 bucks a day and that equals out to about 2,100 bucks per month. All right, so let me know if there's any changes here. But for the most part, this is, this is pretty dialed in. Uh, additionally, I have gone in here and created a new Facebook campaign with all the new content that we did last month. So, or I'm sorry, I don't even know when it was. I guess two months ago. And so uh, I actually didn't include all five. Uh, one of them, I don't know, I felt kind of, it wasn't the best to promote, but the other four are here. So crazy stories, popular haircuts, why five star reviews, and reasons to come to Grayscale. Uh, Facebook, as you know, it's just mainly for awareness, but it does bring traffic. I'm gonna show you that on the Google Analytics here shortly. And, um, you know, this, this is, <laughs> we're spending eight, $8 a day, so that's about $250 a month. We're just gonna let Google decide, I'm sorry, Meta decide uh, which one it should favor as it's all under the same campaign. And we're targeting a 10 mile radius around your shop. So people who see it, they're nearby, and we're linking the exact uh, book, the Square site. We're not even sending it to the website. We're just seeing, uh, what I wanna try this time is what if we just link it straight to the Square site? Let's see if we can get some more um, appointments booked through there. And so pretty simple on this one. Uh, then we have the business page, which, you know, it's, it's pretty good too. Um, what the business page is, is this right here. Whenever this pops up, 352 Google reviews, great job. Um, but here on the performance, if we're just looking at, you know, January and February, it's not going to have all of February, obviously, because it's the 12th. But you can see that you appear for barber, barbershop, barbershop, haircut, barbershop, memory as some of your top searches. And I mean, you literally can't ask for a better thing to come up for when it's exactly what you are. Uh, and then here just gives you a little bit of the placements of where you show up. So Google Maps Mobile, Google Search Mobile, uh, Google Maps Desktops, and Google Search Desktop. So this obviously lets us know that, what's the math? Six, seven, eight, 94% of all your searches uh, 
organically for the Google profile page are on mobile. So literally like every uh, the entire amount. Uh, here we have the Google Analytics and this specifically speaks to the website. So I wanted to show this because um, that way you understand what results you're getting from your own efforts, right? So paid search, obviously that's gonna be the highest because that's where you're putting the most uh, budget towards. Direct, these are people who put graceglobarbershop.com. Organic social, so this is what I want. I, this is what I wanted to show you. So if I break it down here by traffic source, um, organic social. So Facebook, even though, uh, and this is mobile Facebook, even though you know it's Facebook, it did bring 543 people to the site. Um, Instagram, 153. Facebook, I guess this is like a desktop version. Instagram, uh, regular 17. Bing, and Facebook uh, links or link from Facebook. And so maybe your, your page. And so, you know, that's good because, you, you know, I see you guys constantly posting on your socials and it does end up getting people to the site, which is one step closer to booking an appointment. So sharing that. Um, organic search too, as you can see, is 558 users, which is great. Um, let me show you this over here, actually. So this is from your specific site. You know, you had 2,600 visitors overall. Uh, the breakdown here is paid search, organic social. Again, it's up by a lot, 234%. <laughs> uh, organic search, 552, and direct, 19%. So it's a good breakdown of, of different channels, which is what you want to see. And it's interesting because it's pretty even, right? Like, it's, it's pretty uh, distributed well. This is your SEO, so the actual website itself, 6,500 impressions, 105 clicks, 552 visitors, and then here's your top performing content, which of course are the keywords actually, which is very aligned with what you have running with Google Ads, it's pretty similar. And then here's where they specifically go, right? So mainly the home pages where everybody's going, followed by the service pages, which makes sense. Speaking of the website, one thing we are going to do here is create location pages. So what I'm thinking here is on the home page to keep it aesthetically pleasing, um, adding a section somewhere and saying near these locations. So you're close to Barker, Brookshire, and Cinco Ranch. And making content like this is going to help if somebody's looking up literally this term. Barbershop, the whole page is designed to come up for this. Barbershop Single Ranch. And so, you know, if there's like specific areas, these are just the closest ones I found in a 10 mile radius that I, I was aware about, right? Like in that, there was some called like Josue, Texas. I was like, I don't know who lives there. Um, but see, we don't appear for this type of search for, for single ranch. So what we're trying to do is we're, you know, if I do Katie, obviously our whole, our whole, um, our whole setup is for Katie. As you can see, we're literally here. Um, here we go again. And so doing the other pages is just serving the The other location so it's like it's funny because it's like it's building content but for SEO it's so similar to like TikTok and Instagram like all the local SEO, stu SEO stuff you do for websites you do them on Instagram I don't think people realize that and TikTok there's interlinking there's a uh, keyword research there's titling there's tags um, but yeah th these are the three we're gonna start off with but if you have any other ones like barbershop uh, sorry Barker Texas Brook Brookshire Cinco Ranch. So if you have any more, or 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 some that are more you think are more prevalent, uh, let me know. And then I'm thinking we'll do it like somewhere on this homepage. Because usually how we would want to do it is we'll do like you know um, serving these areas or something like that. But because you're um, brick and mortar, it wouldn't make sense. So it could also go on like the about. Maybe like the about we could put. Um, close to you or something near you and then list out the different um, locations so that is your uh, monthly review I mean, we're still doing the other stuff like the monthly blogs the Google profile postings the weekly Google profile postings 
And with that being said, let me know if you have any updates or questions. Thanks so much.